Welcome to the 16th chapter, the last chapter of the book of Romans. Paul is in Corinth. Uh, he wrote Galatians from there, we believe, possibly. For sure, It's uh, he wrote uh, the book of Romans. He was probably staying at Gaius's house. And this period of time was about eight years before the Roman War would began against the Jews, where in 70 AD the uh, city was destroyed. This was around 58 that Paul was writing. He's on his third journey. And he begins and says, But I commend to you Phoebe. Phoebe. Whenever you see the underline, red underline, that means that that name is feminine. All the other names are masculine. And almost all the names that are given are only appear in this chapter of the Bible. But if they're not, if there are other places, then I'll, I'll bring them out to you as we go through. Phoebe was possibly the one the lady or sister who delivered uh, the letter of the Romans. He says he commends uh, Phoebe to them. So she possibly was carrying this letter to the uh, brothers and sisters in Rome. She was a servant, the Aconon, deacon, the derivative of the Ecclesia, Iglesia in Spanish for a church, or derivatives, in Cancreas. Uh, Cancreas, Cancrea was a port for the city of Corinth, close a little bit uh, southeast, that you should favorably receive her in the Lord uh, Axios, worthily of the holy ones. An axiom is a worthy saying. And you should stand beside her in whatever thing she should uh, need of you. For also she, a patroness of many, was a patroness of many, and of myself. So a woman here uh, outside of Corinth who was giving uh, money to the ministry of Paul, being sent to Rome, possibly uh, on a trip uh, that she may have had enough money and wanted to go there for whatever reason. And then with this letter, it's she, he says he ends up, greet Priscilla and Aquila, Priscilla is feminine, my synergus, a scene is with, synergy, sin is with, uh, S-U-N here, sigma, epsilon, ni, and ergonomics, ergo, work, a fellow worker, in Christo Isu. Uh, Priscilla and Aquila were uh, people that Paul had met there in uh, Corinth. Apparently, it, it says that they were uh, sent uh, they left Rome at the decree of uh, Claudius to, uh, for all the Jews to vacate uh, Rome, and they went to uh, Corinth. They were tent makers, and apparently Paul was a tent maker himself. He joined up with them and began working with them. And then uh, he went uh, to Ephesus, and they uh, went with Paul to Ephesus, and there they taught Apollos. Uh, who had come, and then uh, apparently someplace in the line they went back. To, they went back to Rome where they had left and started a church uh, in their house. And he says, "Who placed to their own three neck four four five my life? To whom not only I give thanks, of Caristo the Eucharist, the giving thanks, but also." all the ecclesiae of the ethnon, the nations, and the assembly at their house. So there it is. There it's at the, the assembly is at their house in Rome. And then he goes and mentions all these, starts mentioning all these people who, as I mentioned, are, are only named in this uh, chapter of the book. Greet Epanitas, the Epan, Epaneton, uh, is a Greek. It's interesting because many of the names are have de are declined. Uh, they are uh, they have a nominative ending, a genitive, uh, dative, and accusative endings. Uh, epi 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 
netos was probably in the nominative and, and no, tone is in the accusative because it says greet him, greet Epinetus, uh, my beloved. If it was a something of that he owned, it would uh, have the, the, the horse of Epinetu. So there's different spellings, but not every noun has that, not every proper name. So uh, just let you know that this is the way it's uh, Greek is uh, built. Who is a first fruit of Achaia for Christ? And Achaia was uh, Greece, down where they were at with Athens and so forth, and Corinth, and he was one of the first fruits, so he was the earliest one there. And greet Mariam. There's a three or four or five Marys in the Bible. It really gets confusing of which one it is. We really uh, can just speculate, but uh, whoever this Mary here could have been somebody in Corinth who uh, tired much for us. Greet Andronicon, Adronicus, and Ionia, uh, Junius. Um, here uh, is a, a female name. It could be Junia. Uh, I put Junias, and um, so you might want to change it in your book. I might change it in the next uh, third edition to Junia. My uh, relatives, now he's saying their relatives, mentions that in another place with somebody else. He could be referring to their being Jews, possibly. I don't necessarily know if they would be cousins or anybody like that. I would think that um, it would be more, more likely that they were f Jews. And my fellow captives, who are notable among the apostles, apostolis, it's a transliteration, who also were before me in Christ. So uh, these two people uh, were uh, notable, they're notable, and they were um, knew the Lord before he did. So they apparently somehow found out who the Jesus was, left uh, I don't know if they somebody came there and told them in Corinth or how they met, how they found out about Christ, but they did. And greet Amplion, Amplius, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urvanon, Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christo, and stocking the Agapiton Mu. Uh, Agape, the loved one, the beloved. Uh, greet Apelline, Apellus, the one approved in Christ. Greet the ones from out of the, I have household here, it could be church, uh, of Aristobulus. Greet Erodiona, Herodion, my relative, there it is again, uh, it could be, a, a, it was a Jew. Herod would have been uh, close to because closer with that name. The Herods were in Israel, not in Corinth. Greet the ones from out of the one, ones of Narcissu, Narcissus, Narcissu, uh, of. There's a genitive. His name was Narcissos uh, in the nominative, uh, being in the Lord. Greet Trephanon K. Trifoson, Tas, and that means it's feminine, the both of them, uh, tiring in labor in the Lord. Tiring, doesn't say labor, but it's obvious that's what they were tiring in. It wasn't just getting old. Greet Persitha, another feminine, the beloved and feminine, the teen, who by much labor tired in the Lord. Greet Rufon, uh, Rufus, he could be the son of Simon the Cyrenian who carried the cross of Jesus and had a brother named Alexander, mentions him in Mark 15, 21. The chosen in the Lord and his mother and mine. Greet Asyncreton, Asyncretus, Philagonta, Philagon, Herman, Hermas, Patrovan, Patrobas, Ermine, uh, here's a Erman is masculine, so I think this is probably the mean would be feminine, and the ones and the brothers uh, with them. 
Greet Philologon, Philologus, and Eulion, Julius, but I hear again it's a feminine, so like the other one, I think I, the next one I'll change that to Julia, which I believe it has in the King James. Nereon, Nereph, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympon, Olympus, and the ones with them, all holy ones, greet one another with a holy kiss. The assemblies of Christ greet you. And then he continues, And I appeal to you, brothers, to watch the ones, uh, we'll go down here, making one the discords and the obstacles by the teaching uh, which you learned, and turn aside from them. That's interesting. So turn aside from somebody. If they're teaching something that's not right in the Bible, it's obvious, turn aside from them. He doesn't say to, well, take two people and tell them you could do that but then uh, turn aside from them. For the ones such serve not to our Lord Jesus Christ, but in their own belly, and by flattery and evlogias, blessing, they cheat the cardias, the hearts, cardiac arrest, the heart attack, of the guileless, akakon. The alpha means uh, the opposite. Uh, here, in, it's kakon is bad, and here it means uh, guileless. For the obedience of yours reached unto all. I rejoice then over you, but I want you uh, to be wise in, ones indeed unto the good, but unmixed unto the evil. So there were t teachings there that uh, were bad, warns them about, um, who, wh about that, and it's saying to us, we need to know who we're listening to and being taught by. And uh, if it's not right, then uh, than to leave it. Some people would have a hard time when they say, well, you're supposed to stay there no matter what. But I don't see that as Paul is saying that here. But the God of Irene's peace will destroy Satan. Um, under, uh, under your feet quickly. This is the end of Satan was going to be destroyed. The favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And then he continues and gives the uh, greetings from where he was at, the assembly in Corinth. Uh, Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. And we know who Timothy was, a, a young man that Paul met earlier. And um, he wrote the f books of first, uh, uh, Paul wrote the books of first and second Timothy addressed to Timothy. And Luke, the physician, who was with Paul most of this time, and Jason and Sospater, Sosipatros. Um, Jason uh, is mentioned uh, also in Acts 17, uh, 5 to 9, where he's taken, I believe, uh, in front of the um, judiciary with the uh, uprising with uh, um, uh, the people there. And um, and he says also my relatives. I Tertius greet you. Now you think, well, this is Tertius. This is not Paul. Uh, but uh, most people consider them. Uh, uh, if I get this pronounced wrong, I hope not. Amen. Amonensis. It's somebody that is writing for him. Sounds like a Roman name. I Tertius uh, greet you. It makes me wonder if there was possibly some actual Latin here, and uh, we, it was lost. Some people think possibly Matthew was written uh, in Aramaic, and possibly some of this was written in, uh, this book especially could have been written in Latin, and we don't know about it, but Tertius uh, is a, sounds Roman, uh, the one writing the letter in the Lord. Gaius greets you. Now, Gaius uh, was a man uh, who uh, it mentions uh, other places in the Bible. It says he's my host. So Paul's staying at his house there in um, Corinth. Uh, it was uh, mentioned how uh, in Romans, I'm sorry, in Acts 19.29, and the entire city was filled with confusion in advance with one accord unto the theater, having seized by force Gaius and Aristarch, 
Aristarchus, Macedonian traveling companions of Paul in Acts 19.29, then mentions uh, in nine, the rest of that uh, chapter of traveling. He's also mentioned by third, uh, John in the third letter of 3 John, who's addressed uh, to Gaius. So uh, he's staying there, and uh, the entire assembly um, agree, uh, and of the entire assembly, Erastus, the manager of the city, greets you. Now, there's other couple of other Erastus as mentioned in other places, whether it's the same one or not. It's questionable in Acts 19:22. It's sent with uh, sent with uh, Timothy to Macedonia, and then Second uh, Timothy 4:20, um, he was uh, left and mentions being left in Corinth. And it's a possibility, may not be the same person. And Quartus, Quartos, uh, the brother. The favor of our Lord Jesus Christu be with uh, you all. Amen. And to the one able to support you, according to my good news, and the Karigama uh, is the uh, proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to an uncovering of the mystery in times eternal, having been quiet, and that's is the nations, I believe it says here, but made apparent now, even through the prophetic scriptures, according to the command of the eternal Aeoniu Theu, eternal God, for obedience of belief, having been made known unto all the nations. And I believe that's the mystery. It's now being made known. Uh, before it was just to the Jews. And here in Rome, uh, it was a mixed congregation of Jews and people of the nations. So he's mentioning uh, that this was a mystery and now it's being revealed. Uh, the only wise God, mono is mono, is only wise God, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the doxa, the glory, into the aeonas, the eons. Amen. Amen. So, the end of the book of Romans. Now, uh, Paul leaves Corinth and he goes back to Jerusalem. Um, he was going to go out, take a s trip across the sea, but uh, he, he, there was an attack by the Jews, so he went by land. And uh, this is all uh, mentioned in Acts 20. You can read all about Paul's return to Jerusalem. And then now, three or f five years later, uh, we hear his next letter. We don't have anything in between this time until he's in the Roman captivity where he writes uh, the book, books of Philemon, Colossians, Ephesians, and Philippians, which we will go through next um, I don't believe I've went through finally, even if I have, I'll, it'll be one of these uh, four books that we'll be going through next. And I hope you'll join us in these books and uh, finishing up with Paul and um, his journey. And God bless.